So here are some of the long-term benefits you can get from Soma Journeys. If you're doing the awakening process or if you're doing a daily dose where you're using a few rounds of intermittent hypoxia per day. So if we're, let's look at, let's focus on the daily dose. Let's say you're doing the daily morning routine every day. These are the kind of benefits you can receive if you stick to the dose. If you go crazy, uh, you're not gonna get the same benefits. We, we just stick to the dose that we recommend, and you're gonna receive these benefits. And you can read about this in this journal, The Therapeutic Potential of Intermittent Hypoxia, A Matter of Dose, written by Angela Navarrete Apazo and Gordon S. Mitchell, which was published in the American Journal of Physiology, Regulatory, Integrative and Comparative Physiology. Okay, you can look it up in, in uh, Google and just search for therapeutic potential of intermittent hypoxia, a matter of dose. So, intermittent hypoxia is really the, one of the, the most um, powerful parts, components of a SOMA awakening journey or a SOMA daily dose because it brings in that positive stress response and lowers the oxygen down. And if you stick to our dose, then some of the long-term benefits, according to this paper, are enhanced spatial learning and memory. So your ability to, to learn things and your memory are going to improve by doing this um, over the long term, which is really useful. It can also suppress pro-inflammatory mediators, so that means it lowers inflammation in the body. This is something you can notice quite dramatically if you're somebody who's suffering from inflammation, like I was suffering from inflammation when I had an autoimmune condition, and it really was relieved by doing this practice. It can also reduce blood glucose tolerance and cholesterol. So if you're somebody suffering from high cholesterol, again, cholesterol is associated with inflammation, so high cholesterol is, so if you can lower the inflammation, you're gonna lower cholesterol. It can even um, allow you to uh, stabilize your blood sugar levels. And it also reduces blood pressure. So if, over time, if you're somebody suffering from high blood pressure, you can actually reduce the blood pressure over time because you actually build up more tolerance to carbon dioxide. And you'll be breathing less over time because our goal is to get you to around four to five breaths per minute per day at rest. And that will mean that your, your vessels dilate, your blood vessels dilate, and you have lower blood pressure and less risk of strokes and heart disease, which is obviously very, very useful. It can also increase bone mineral density. So that means that if you're somebody suffering from things like osteoporosis, it can help you maintain strong bones, but it can also um, help you to stay uh, strong in general. If you're somebody who does a lot of fitness and exercise and endurance, you need strong bones to, to, to handle that endurance. It's gonna help with that. It can also strengthen your innate immune system, okay, which is very, very useful. It can promote weight loss. All right, so if you're somebody who's suffering from obesity or if you're overweight, it can also help with that issue. Okay, and it can reduce symptoms of depression. This is very, very powerful. It raises your love, your level of vibrational energy. It changes your emotional state dramatically, especially the rhythmic breathing parts. So if you're somebody suffering from depression, this could be something that can kick you and wake you back up into your normal, healthy, happy self. It can also improve myocardial contractile function. So that's the strength of your heart, okay, which is really, really important if you want to stay young and healthy. And it can also increase your aerobic capacity and exercise tolerance. So if you're somebody who likes to be stay fit and do a lot of endurance and fitness and long distance running, things like that, or if you're somebody who likes to sp uh, do sports, if you're a football player or whatever, if you're a professional sports person, it's going to be really useful for you. And if you're an instructor, it can actually, um, you can take these benefits and see which kind of clients you can help them with using this one technique. And our 21 day protocol or 21 day journey actually takes you on this journey where you're doing uh, the breath work in a way where you're getting the intermittent hypoxia in the right doses progressively building up each week as you adapt more to having less oxygen and over 21 days you can actually experience many of these benefits or more.